Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of May 16th through May 23rd for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new to the channel, welcome to you. I'm glad you are here. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days. You could check a different part of your chart. Or even look around on those Monday readings because they're a different format every week. There's a different style of reading every Monday. Um, thanks to everybody, too, for subscribing and hitting that like button. I so appreciate it. I Everything you do for the channel, I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe so you'll know when anything new is posted. All right. Let's get the guidance for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please? What messages do you have for Libra? Okay. So we'll begin here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. Oracle cards, too. You've got the Eight of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Well, beautiful reading. I feel like you're leaving some conflict behind. You're coming out of something and getting a lot more clarity. It may be something with this Eight and Five strikes me as almost separating from sort of a push-pull dynamic with other people, like a lot of people that keep trying to throw their two cents into something. You've definitely got nice aspects for money here. You've got um, Taurus here. You've got uh, Earth in general, so Taurus, Virgo, Cap. You've got Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you do have a little bit of water. But just as I looked at these lining up, there's something about this when they first came out that really struck me as very beautiful. It's like this communication comes in. There's love here, but there's stability, and there's definitely a long-term partnership here. So the Eight of Wands is the arrows of love in the tarot, and so it's definitely a communication that comes in fast, but it's very clear. And in terms of a love relationship, it's somebody who does want a commitment, who may show up, it may seem like they come out of nowhere, but I do feel like you're manifesting one another. So if it's somebody new that you meet, you may feel like you've known them forever. And it's part of that is that manifestation. You've already connected with them energetically before you've even met. And so they, and maybe it's them that says that to you. Like, I feel like you lived in my heart, someone says. And so with the Eight of Wands, so it is movement forward, and especially if something's been stagnant, this will bring in that that sort of push to get things to go forward in a way that if, if there's been some anxiety, there's no anxiety here. So the Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful card. It's the Wealth card, but it's a very harmonious card. And again, with that Eight of Wands in this in the Ten of Pentacles, it may seem like it comes out of nowhere. Um, the Ten of Pentacles can also be either information or, or a gift that comes out of a strange, not strange, kind of a surprising place. So there may be somebody that gets you, gives you a small gift they saw somewhere and they picked it up for you and said, I just wanted to give you this. I looked like you and reminded me of you or you're always saying this phrase, you know, that kind of thing where it's just sort of a nice little uplifting um, thought and gesture. And so the Ten of Pentacles, though, is about one of the reminders with this is about being in appreciation for the things around you. Because the the people in the depicted the characters don't really pay much attention to each other. They're focused on what they want to focus on. And so it's sort of about opening up a little bit more and really seeing all the gifts that you brought in because you're manifesting this. Yeah, You get what you expect and you are the cause of everything around you. Your outside reality is the effect of you. So there's nothing by mistake. There's really nothing out of your control. So the Hierophant is a card of deep spirituality and wisdom. It is a, it's your inner teacher, your highest teacher, your inner guru. And with this card too, it's a reminder that your higher self will never tell you to do something that's immoral or unethical or that would hurt anyone else. So if there's somebody struggling to know what's my internal voice of the ego and what is my higher self, well, be, be 
discerning about the direction that you're hearing. Generally, if the it's if it's coming from the ego, it's more that impulsive kind of stuff. The hierophant though brings in a connection to the universe that's of source energy. He's a priest. It's um in terms of a partner. Whoever you're attracting here is a very stable partner, a very loving, mature partner. They're definitely able to commit. There's no doubt about that. And the Hierophant, too, holds up his hand and says, be still and know. And so with this, it's also a card where you may find you're getting more involved in spiritual teachings. I see the Edgar Casey Center in Virginia Beach. Somebody may be going to an event there or visiting or you want to visit there something like that, um, or maybe just watching and reading, watching spiritual teachers and reading books. But it's that kind of energy where you're really, as a student, getting that higher level of knowledge. And so with this, it's also a card. He holds the keys to the universe at his feet. You are, like I said, you're a creator here. There's no mistake about that. And so this energy allows you to get in flow, release any anxiety, release any fears, but you've got, like you said, you've got a stable partnership here. Now, if it's in terms of work and money for you, and it's not a love relationship because you have it kind of both ways here. Again, it's long term and there's trustworthy people here. And I feel like it's a, a place where you can kind of bounce ideas off of each other. So I mentioned earlier, this Eight of Swords shows up. It's interesting because you have the Eight of Wands, which is Eights are movements in the tarot, movement in the tarot. The Eight of Wands is fast forward movement. The Eight of Swords is restricted. It's that committee meeting of the mind, you know, that overthinking, not wanting to take a step forward. So with this, there may be people around you pressuring you a little bit. I do get that. Um, and I feel like they're related to that Five of Wands. I feel like there's some kind of an insecure energy coming off of somebody around you. Where as you move forward, I hate to say this, but I feel like they kind of bring in doubt and limiting beliefs and it's somewhat intentional. They are not very confident and they don't know who the hell they are. That's the problem. Okay, I'll just say it like it is. They don't know who they are. And so I don't think they, I mean, they're not like completely malevolent, but it's like their, their life is so small that they don't really have many other choices but to do that. I hope that makes sense. So I feel like they do it somewhat intentionally, but it's out of their own fear that you're going to move on. You're going to go develop a life and you're not, it feels more like a friend or a family member than a love interest, but like you're going to leave them because you're getting too successful. Okay. Something like that. It's not even too successful. It's like you're expanding out of their awareness. And honestly, I think you probably already have whoever that is. It's probably just one person on here, but I had to say it. So the Ace of Swords, that'll that'll knock that crap right out. The Ace of Swords will allow you not only the discernment, but the ability to communicate it and make it very clear. If there's somebody here, some hanger on or that just keeps lowering your vibration and you just don't even like to be around them, you will, with this, make a cut with it, okay? You'll separate yourself. And it doesn't have to be grisly. It can be you know, just a way that you do it so that you just don't continue to get in their energy field. There's just not a connection. Now, on the other side of this card, what's really nice about it is when you set a goal in this energy, you're unstoppable. It's laser focused. So you have the right ability to see what you're wanting. Like if it's a job, you can f you'll can you find the right things to put a resume in or find the right connections and you'll be able to communicate in terms of an interview, if you have an interview for something. And you'll have great creativity and ideas here too, but you're really good at articulating them. So it's not just the ideas, it's the facility to communicate them too. That's really nice here. So we talked earlier about the Three of Pentacles a little bit. It's a long-term st uh, steady foundation. You've got great stability around you here, Libra. So in terms of a relationship, it's also like-minded energies. It's being able to work together, listen to each other, and keep building off of one another's ideas and energy. So it's a very harmonious energy, just like the Ten of Pentacles or similar to it. So with this, if you're building a house or you're, you're in a relationship and you want to move in together, here you are. I mean, it's in here quite a few times. And that may be part of what that Eight of Wands is. is it's a turning point in terms of moving in together, being in a more serious commitment 
The Knight of Cups brings in love. I like to see that here because you've definitely got commitments, but right without love, you can be committed and have a terrible time together. But the Knight of Cups has true love. It's somebody who's serious. They come from the heart. They come from such a good place. This person is very genuine. They are the real deal. This is somebody who speaks their mind openly, but in a way that, like I said, it comes from love. And so they see a future with you. There's also, too, I mentioned man, a manifester. This is a very daydreamy energy. It can also be an energy of, you know, visualizing, seeing the end game, seeing it through your own first person reality. So if you're saying this all sounds really good, but it doesn't sound like me, it, this can be that turning point where you visualize it and see it and feel it because your feelings are really the key to it all. It's not just the the thought, but the feeling behind it. So I mentioned before with this five of wands, you got to change here. Five of wands, fives can also be adventure too. So I guess I wouldn't rule that completely out, but I do feel like it has something to do with the eight of swords and it's leaving behind drama. It's changing. And, and especially with the hierophant, which is also a five, it's getting more into that higher spiritual realm, realm and leaving behind some of the pettiness of the ego attachments. So let's see what the angels have to say here. Libra, please. All right. Helpful people, okay? So it's interesting because you have somebody here that's not particularly helpful, but, um, you know, part of that is, is allowing yourself to move towards possibly new people that will be of help, that will be more of a positive match because you have abundance here, especially with the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, there may be unexpected money or it may even be getting things that you want at a discounted price, like things that you have in mind. You do have compromise here. So with the Three of Pentacles, that is a card of listening to each other's ideas, but also not just building, but there may be some, some compromise that shows up, but it'll be easy to do it in this energy field. You've got in the near future. You've got to choose a new direction. So when you have that, sometimes it can be too much specificity. Abraham Hicks talks about going general, and it's just knowing what you want and why you want it, but not worrying about the how. It's not seeing, visualizing step by step, how is this going to happen? It's a visualizing, having it now, feeling it now. Good things are on the way for you, Libra. I love you and I'll be back again soon.